What is going on guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a few features with you guys for the minivan custom that you may not be aware about. So let's go ahead and get straight into things. So as of a few days ago, you can now customise the Vapid minivan at Benny's original motorworks. And although in my opinion the minivan custom isn't exactly a very good vehicle, it still has a few features which I think gives it an edge over some of the others you can also customise at Benny's. But first, just like many other cars available to customise at Benny's original motorworks, you can save yourself some money on the purchase of the vehicle itself by finding one for free around the map. Simply drive around until one spawns in, steal it and make your way down to Benny's where you can then go ahead, upgrade it and add customizations to it. But I wouldn't recommend doing so. Although to begin with it will save you $30,000 on the purchase price, if further down the line you go to sell the car, it won't sell for anywhere near as much as a car which you've purchased and fully customized. And you could potentially lose yourself a lot of money in excess of a few hundred thousand dollars. Now moving on to something which may be obvious to many of you, whereas some of you may not be aware about this, including myself until the other day when you guys informed me of this in a live stream. So for those people wondering how to change the colour of your custom seats, what you have to do is go to respray, then go to secondary colour, and then of course choose your colour. Now many of you may have already worked this out, but when you think about it, it isn't that obvious. There should be a separate option for seat colour, plus usually secondary colours are an exterior option, but on this car, the changing of the secondary secondary colour doesn't change anything on the exterior of the car itself. Now moving on to something which is pretty cool which you may not have known about involving the die hard livery. This of course being the most expensive livery available from the livery option on this vehicle and is basically a collection of skulls on the exterior of the car. To be fair it is a very cool looking livery and as far as I'm aware of it's also a very popular choice online but what you may not have known about is the livery itself is made up of tattoos from the tattoo shop. So if you make your way to the tattoo shop and browse all the tattoos available, pretty much any skull related tattoo can be found in this livery. Now sure this fact isn't exactly the most useful one to know, but I think it's pretty cool the fact that Rockstar have incorporated these tattoos in the Die Hard livery. So there we go, something pretty interesting I thought I would share with you guys, and you may want to share this with your friends as well. But moving on to the final feature which you may not be aware about with the minivan custom, that being that the minivan is very similar to the Moonbeam in the sense that you can use heavy weapons from the back seats. So just like the Moonbeam custom, the minivan custom has rear sliding doors and when you're in the back seats you can select heavy weapons such as LMGs, assault rifles and stuff along those lines and you can use those from the back seats by simply aiming down sight after choosing the weapon. Your character will open the door and lean out slightly and then you can proceed to shoot. So there we go, a feature which you may find useful if you want to use heavier weapons than usual from the back seats of the minivan custom, but I'm sure there are Plenty of scenarios where this feature will come in handy, for example when driving around with your fellow VIPs and bodyguards, maybe a few friends or crew members or something along those lines when going around in missions or online sessions attacking other players. Well with that being said that is it for this video but I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys could take a few seconds out of the video click the like button it would help me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated. Also be sure to leave a comment on this video and let me know your thoughts and feelings about these features and if you know of any other features other players may not be aware about then go ahead and leave a comment on this video. And finally if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel I'd recommend that you do because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.